Well, look, I, there's a whole host of, uh, of reasons. And uh, the reason I called the debate uh, today is because there are lots of good people and good organisations across the country. And in my constituency, the parish council, we're all doing lots of work. And what I want to do is uh, help encourage the government to get to a place where we're supporting those organisations to uh, help do better enforcement with the police, uh, but also uh, encourage residents to uh, be aware of the risks of flight fighting because there's an economic cost, there's a social cost, uh, you know, it's a criminal act and we've got to try and come together because ultimately it's about protecting our communities and instilling pride in the areas we live. But it is a criminal act, as you say, but fixed penalty notices and fines imposed by courts fell in 2020-2021 compared with the previous year. And that's in spite of the rise in this illegal dumping. So people aren't, aren't, aren't paying the cost of doing it. Well, Gloria, I think you are absolutely right. The, the, one of the key things I'm talking about today, and I'm sure it's a very well-attended debate from what I hear, and, uh, or it will be, uh, and the, the, the level of enforcement certainly needs to be looked at. And I'm talking about making sure that we're beefing up police powers, that we're giving the resources where they are. One of the things I call for uh, is not only greater fines, but for, but for that money that's raised uh, to be uh, allocated to parish councils, for example, who are doing great work. Um, one of my uh, villages... Uh, uh, Boston, which is, uh, was recently voted one of the most uh, idyllic villages in the country, they funded their own AMPR cameras. Uh, so when, when flight tipping incidents uh, occur, they then share that data with the police. We've then got to make sure that the mechanism is in place for uh, that, that information to be then used to prosecute the people who are committing this.